SAML is a standardized way to make single sign-on, or SSO, possible. SAML assertions are a key aspect of this. Assertions are essentially the messages exchanged between an identity provider, or IDP, and a service provider, or SP. Those messages confidently identify who a user is, what pertinent information exists about them, and what they're authorized to access. At a deeper level, messages also specify security conditions such as the source of the assertion and assure that assertions are valid. Assertions help SAML to function. The information that is contained within assertions is written within XML schemas, which specify the conditions that are necessary to securely access resources. How this works is outlined in the SAML 2.0 open standard. Writing XML schemas can be a heavy lift for some organizations and may take time to debug. That's why the SAML standard has a built-in facility to troubleshoot user login errors called an assertion validator. It will identify problems in assertions that are sent from your IDP. Assertion validators expressly target issues with assertions and will not identify login issues. JumpCloud's platform contains a library of several hundred pre-built SSO connectors so that users may bypass this process. There are three kinds of assertion statements. Statements are encapsulated within SAML assertions and provide significant flexibility for identity and access management, IAM, onboarding and governance. They include the authentication statement. These assertions are generated by the system that authenticates a user. They contain information about how the authentication decision occurred and they log information, including timestamps. The attribute statement. SAML has the capacity to relay information about users, such as what department they work in or whether they're part of a VIP group that may access a restricted system. This is also where basic contact information exists. Authorization Decision Statement The decision statement outlines what actions a user is entitled to perform, such as accessing a particular web page or a secure area of an app. For instance, it's important to limit who can access private health information. Those restrictions can be specified using assertion statements. Other authentication protocols, such as OpenID, do not have that capability. Statements allow systems to interoperate across domain boundaries and make it possible to securely establish SSO for websites, attribute-based user authentication, and to secure web services. SAML assertions are doing the work behind the curtain. JumpCloud offers free SSO for up to 10 users with hundreds of pre-made connectors and the ability to make custom connections. Check out the links in the description to learn more.